We started out in Chalmette on Judge Perez, where the flooding was chest deep and higher. Driving toward Miro, we see roofs smashed, windows blown out of stores in strip malls, buildings shattered, walls ripped from some buildings. In Miro, the damage is even worse. Here in Lexington Place, it looks like flood water rushed in faster than air could escape the interiors of cars and trucks. Vehicles floated like bubbles until they filled with water and came down nose first on fences, even sideways on the porch of one home. It was amazing to me seeing cars overturned. We followed Mary Schluter's family to her home. This is my first time seeing it. She says her husband was here before and has already shown her video of all this. We were actually laughing when we saw the video, if you could believe that. My house looks like it used to when I decorated for Halloween. But this was more than a home or even a neighborhood. It was like part of their identity, their family. I knew all my neighbors, a lot of them my husband and I went to high school with and grammar school with, so we all knew each other. My cousin lived on the corner down there. And it's painful, too. Not so much as the pain for me, for my children, because, you know, they, they wanted me to try to get something out of their room, so that's what I'm here for. A couple streets away, look at this. An entire house, even the foundation, lifted from where it stood and washed into another home. And everywhere, lawns that were green just three weeks ago are covered with this dried muck from the flooding that crunches when you walk on it. Sometimes as you look at these pictures, it's hard to know exactly what you're seeing. Right now, we're standing on the slab of a home. I think this is probably the kitchen. But the home was washed over there, right into the street. And look over here next door. That home was washed away, too. We're not sure exactly where it went. The magnitude just... Is, is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mary Schluter's brother, Grenis Majewski, has just come back from his flooded out home. He took the address plate as a That's memento. Really? He says the home is a total loss. And it wiped us all out. Looks like it's going to wipe us off the map for a while. James Grimes is an adjuster for the National Flood Insurance Program. Talked to one family today and couldn't hardly handle seeing a woman break down like she did. He says these homes are all total losses. Oh, it's a disaster. It's the worst I've ever seen in my life. I've been doing this for a long time. This is the worst I've ever seen. It. He wants people who lived in these homes to know they don't need to come here to help him assess the damage. He says it's too dangerous and it's not necessary. And all it is devastation. And, you know, don't want sickness to get out, don't want diseases to go anywhere. And people really risking their lives coming in here because you don't know what the flood water brought in with it. But some people, like Mary Schluter, feel they have to see it. They have to try to salvage what they can. Kind of like a treasure hunt now. 